What Magic Can't Fix, written by Perlescent T. Chapter 1, The Letter. Hey, sweetheart. Today, Nebula Spark said something I thought was pretty funny. He told me about the new research his dad was doing at the Canterlot Space Center. Do you remember back in the day when I think I... Hey, sweetheart. Magic? Magic fixes everything. That's what they say. But as you and I sure as hell know, magic can be... a really tough thing to handle. Magic breaks as much as it fixes, and sometimes, when faced with a whole lot of terrible things, we tend to realize, huh? Magic can't fix this. Funny, for how skilled and powerful I am at magic, I really never saw how much magic could hurt people. And for that, I am so very sorry. Today, Nebula SP? Ah, hell, magic can't fix my bad letter writing. Something happened today that reminded me of the past. I was so sure as the head crystaller at the Crystal Empire and overall head count mage that I knew everything that was to know about the world. I knew how to work the basic telemetric aspects of chronometry. I could toy with life forces and neck. I could toy with life. I could toy with life forces and necrotics and figure out the structure of the universe all the way down from the atom to the pony cell to the spectra that governs our souls and to the stars. But then I found you, or rather, you found me. Again, in my house, in the Crystal Empire, where, despite having this great new position, I was still holed up, inept, afraid of a lot of things. And then I heard you laugh for the first time in years. And that's when I realized that life has got a lot more to offer than just magic. I knew how to make an isolated time string, but I didn't know how to handle the butterflies in my stomach. I knew how to ha I, I knew how to manipulate the hydron What the fuck? I knew how to manipulate the hexadronic rune systems, but whenever I saw you, I blushed. I blushed and I couldn't understand why. I thought this was a problem. All of this this was wrong. I shouldn't have felt that way. I shouldn't be feeling those feelings and things like that. Yada yada, I was panicking. Faced against something I had never experienced before, whatever. The most fearsome things in life are the things which we do not know, we do not know. Rock hoof. I'm sure you've heard me recite that a couple of times already. So when you come by the door, asking for the old childhood friend that she saw earlier, I didn't know what to expect. And I just went along, I guess. I wanted to learn more. I wanted to dip myself into the unknown. And you, your voice, your smile, the glow in your face when you look at something beautiful like flowers or birds or myself, rolling on the ground post-accident, the warmth that surrounded you when you laughed, I, for a moment I thought, I thought I could do this. I remember that night. I remember how you came to my house in tears. You thought I had forgotten your birthday, our anniversary. You thought I was terrible. You thought I cared more about magic, about my career, about everything else, more than I did about any pony I made vows with. You thought about many things, most of which I probably deserved. I still feel a scar from that night when we both were in tears, lying in beds in different rooms. Magic might have been my life, but magic couldn't fix this. Today, Nebula Spark, one of the newer kids, said something rather confidently. Magic can fix everything! During one of my classes, all the friendship students there laughed. I did too. I think that's because we knew that magic isn't the end all be all. My career isn't everything. I'm sorry that I was so distant. I'm sorry I was so distant as a husband. I'm so sorry I could not have. I'm so sorry I couldn't have been there when you wanted me to. 
I'm sorry that I thought I could dedicate myself to my life's work when I was, and when I did become a discoverer. My life's work was right there, with you, with the incredibly smart unicorn who had her own, with the incredibly smart unicorn who had her own aptitude for magic, and loved all her students equally, and loved to laugh, and struck with someone who was un as, and stuck with someone who was as unbearable as I was. Magic couldn't fix how terrible I was. Many other things did. Relationship counseling, therapy, learning to listen more and to communicate better, finding the little things that reminded us of the love we felt for each other, or the butterflies I felt in my stomach when I first saw you outside my door after all those years. It's been like five years since then, and I'm glad I'm still with you. I've been... I've been becoming a better pony than I thought I could ever have been. I've never learned that... I've learned how good it feels to laugh again. I've learned to let go of day and night research, knowing that, um... Well, I can always come back to it later. At least now I get to spend time around my children, teaching them about magic and friendship. Thank you for inviting me to teach at your school, by the way. You're the best head mayor ever. Most more importantly, though, I've even learned to love you better. I've learned to love better. Can you believe that? If you're reading this, then you should be by the dinner table. You won't know it, but I'm in the basement, listening to your soft hoof steps. When the time is right, I'll teleport up. Your job right now is to keep reading. At least, until the end of this letter. I love you. I love you so, so much. You've been... You are the light of my life. You will always be the light of my life. I had that in my hoof so long ago and I screwed it all up. I dropped the, what I dropped what would have been the most precious thing I would have ever had in search of some great I dropped what would have been the most precious thing I would have ever have had in search of some great arcane secret. I'm glad I realized that. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here, in this world, with you. It took a while for me to figure out your reading speed, but at least that's one place where magic won't fail me. The aroma warning spell should wear off right about now. Smell that? A lilac bouquet of hayseed and burgers with a little bit of pepper and bacille. A lilac bouquet with a lilac bouquet with hayseed burgers with a little bit of par- Fuck. Some nice roses and some lilac bouquets immediately filled your nostrils. Your favorites. Happy anniversary, Starlight. Yours truly, Sunburst. Whoa! I did not think that that was Sunburst or, or Starlight. Whoa! Well, you know what they say, looks can be deceiving, sounds, whatever. Um, anyway, be sure to check out my Twitter. I have one of those. I have one of a, one of a channel description, d d discussion things. Check that out. That's where I post updates over there. Oh, jeez, Morty. What else? What else? Oh, don't forget to subscribe because... We need those, we're at like, what, eight subscribers now? We need to pump those numbers up! I got another fic dropping real soon, boys. We're, we're just churning them out here. We're just churning them out. Just churning them. Bop, 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 bop.